I just got off the bus and can you see what is behind me right now? I am in to get there um, back in September when we were here in Munich but timing didn't work out. I didn't know the best way to get there but upon doing some more research I found another way to get there um, that's going to be a lot more affordable. So I'm really really excited and I can't wait to take you guys along with me. So I am headed to the Munich Central Station um, because you can take a train right to the little town right below the castle. So which I didn't know. Um, so the best way to go is to get a Bayern ticket, which is basically like a regional state-like ticket for 26 euros, and it's good for the entire day, and you can also use it on the bus, which we'll be needing to take once we get into Houston. So yeah, I'm going to head to the station now, and then I'm so excited, I can't wait. right here to go straight to Neuschwanstein. And there's two buses that you could take, either number 78 or 73. And yeah, so I'm gonna hop on this. The line is long, so we'll get there when we get there. Just got off the bus, and can you see what is behind me right now? It's right there. Um, you can walk. I think it's about a mile walk up, or I think there's horse carriages or shuttles. Um, I'm gonna take a shuttle so I can get there faster. So let's find where they are. So that's the queue for the ticketing office, which looks like the slots are only open for three o'clock. It's a little bit too late for me. So, I think I'm just gonna go to the top, enjoy the outside, and the mountains are so beautiful. And it's so nice because it's winter, so they're snow capped and pretty. Oh, I can't wait to get to the top. Found it. Took me a second, but I found it. It's three euros round trip, so that's what I'm gonna do. Alright, so got my ticket, and now we just queue up again, another line. But that's kind of expected when you come to such a touristy place. <sighs> so excited. Alright, at the bus. And there's 10 minutes of walking. Okay. okay. Alright, there you guys. I am there. It is right there. Um, I don't know if it by any chance looks familiar to you, but this castle is what inspired Walt Disney to make the Disney castle. It's beautiful. So, Neuschwanstein was built in the mid to late 1880s for the Mad King Ludwig II. The castle was built for the king to live in, and it took almost 15 years to build. 
Sadly, the king died before the castle was finished, and he has a pretty mysterious death. No one really knows for sure exactly how he died. It's a fun story. He was taking a walk with his doctor, his mental doctor, because he was institutionalized shortly before his death, and they both found them in the lake. So, they say he either drowned, there's also stories saying that he was shot in the back, but the autopsy says nothing. About 1.3 million people visit this castle every year, and about 6,000 every day in the summer. So many people. without a ticket and I thought the courtyard was going to be a little bit bigger but I went inside this little waiting room and there's a ticket booth inside. I thought you could only buy tickets down at the bottom but I just bought a ticket for the 210 audio guide tour so I'm really excited and it was 13 euros to go see it inside and we'll see what the hype is. I've heard some people say it's not that worth it and outside is better but I'm excited to find out for myself. All right, I see a bridge way back there. Let's see if we can find a way there. weren't all the way nailed in, so it's shaky with all the people on there, especially. So I have about an hour and 20 minutes before my tour starts, and I packed a lunch, so I'm going to go find a bench, have a lunch, and enjoy the beautiful views, because you can see the lake and the town of Fusen, and it's so pretty. So, Neuschwanstein is in the little town, or little village, called Hohenschwangau, and it is in the southwest part of Bavaria, Germany. And it is so pretty, nestled in the mountains. It's beautiful. And the tour is just going to start. As you can see, everybody is lining up behind me, so let's get in line. and oh man that was worth it I don't know who thinks 13 euros is not worth it but I definitely say check it out every wall had murals galore and it was beautifully painted and furnished and I suggest doing the audio guide tour because I felt like we got to go at a really nice oh pace my God. we saw quite a few rooms and even though there was a lot of people, it was still very nice to see the castle. Alright, with that I'm going to go catch the shuttle back down the mountain, and then hopefully the rain doesn't start up, and then I can see a little bit of the Busan town. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you're not allowed to take pictures or videos inside the castle, so if you want to see what the inside looks like, you're just going to have to come here for yourself. Yep. Also, if you have time, you can go to the other castle, just right there. And that name is quite tricky. It's like Hongenshawan something. Um, but that one was um, refurbished and rebuilt from Ludwig II's dad. So if you have time, definitely check it out. Alright, so made it back down and it's starting to rain. It's also a little past four. I don't know how I spent so much time here. Um, but yeah, I need to catch the bus back to Houston. I love this area. There's actually a couple hotels here, so if you want, you could stay the night here and then go straight up in the morning. Super cool. Another hour and 20 minutes, so 
first part of the cafe. Awesome time um, to do my own little DIY tour to the Neuschwanstein Castle. It's totally doable on yourself, and if you don't want to do uh, like a private car or a tour guide, you can definitely do it on your own. Save a few dollars because I think most of the tours I saw were around 60 euros around there, so definitely save quite a bit. But yeah, I'm gonna say goodbye here, and if you guys want to see what I get up to next, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I will see you guys there.